Hey guys, James here from eBay's Guitar, and if you're interested in learning I Feel Love by Donna Summer, which Flea amazingly covered on bass guitar, please do check this video out right to the end. Hey guys, James here, and a few years back Flea did this incredible cover of I Feel Love by Donna Summer. If you remember the original track, it was a heavy synth bass part which was programmed, but he turned it into a bass guitar piece. It goes a little bit like this one. <laughs> So, as you can see, it's blisteringly fast, and I've had a few questions about how on earth do you go about playing this. This has been a common question in my free Facebook group, which you guys are more than welcome to join. It's called The Bass Lab, so please do check out basslabgroup.com or click the link in the show notes below this video. So guys, you're probably wondering, how on earth do I go about playing at that tempo? The simple truth is there's some really simple frameworks that you can work through and one of those is called Disco Doubles and that's in my Essential Technique course which is inside the Bass Lab Plus membership. And to get to that blistering tempo that Tip Flea was playing there, which I think is probably about 125 beats per minute or so, probably a touch over what I was just playing it at there, there's definitely a process that you can go through. But one of the most powerful things you can learn to do first of all is a thing called Disco doubles. If you can get this down, it will make it going to play what Flea was playing much, much more straightforward. Now, disco doubles is the backbone of loads of amazing disco music. The most notable example of this is the bass line from YMCA. So let me play you these disco doubles so you can hear what they sound like. <laughs> And this is eighth note and two sixteenth notes. If you want to see this written out, please do download the free PDF which comes with this, which will have everything written out, both in tab and notation for you too. Now, to play this, it is eighth note, two sixteenth notes, so boom. So we have an octave and then two sixteenth notes in the next octave. Now, one of the mistakes that so many bass players make when they do this is they try and do first finger, second finger, first finger. So they try. And what they do is they end up inside out. And now the critical thing to make this change is to string jump on the first finger. If you do this, the pattern then works. So let me slow this right down. It's one, one, two, one. Like so. And then what you can do is you can slowly take this through the tempos because once you've got this coordination down, it's the right coordination so you won't effectively trip over yourself. So start it really super slow, like 80 beats per minute, maybe even slower than that, and gradually work it up. This is what I used to do. And it's a tempo when I'm really warmed up, I can get 120 beats per minute out of it. But let me just show you, show you it slowly. Then we're going to speed it up. Another again. And once more. Like that. And this is a feel that I often use in songs when I really want to give things like kick them up a little bit and really propel the band forward. And sometimes when you get this down, you can sometimes see a few heads turning because they're kind of like, where is this great energy coming from? And it, what it is is disco doubles. So that is the first stage if you want to play I Feel Love. Now, what Flea is doing the whole time is he's playing straight 16s through the bar. So he goes. And the truth of the matter is you have to do alternate to make that work. but getting all 16 in the bar is ferocious technique and it takes a bit of time to get that down. So starting off with disco doubles is great because it gives you that little rest in the middle. So bomb. 
that's just enough that um, eighth note and two sixteenths just to give that little rest but you need a gear again to be able to do so again start that slowly but anyway let's take this apart so you can hear what this sounds like so it is two C's to begin with like that root root and then across to the octave like so with disco doubles we were doing like that see hopefully you can see the connection now we're going to fill in that sex second sixteenth but as you'll see the coordination is just the same we're going to go one one two or one two one then we go back we rake back onto the fifth like so and then we hit the flattened seventh. So this is classic box shape stuff. And it's two notes on each one. Now, the original of this was played on the synthesizer. It was probably a nine, I'm 99% certain it was programmed. So that is why they can get the incredible tempo on the original, because it's just about turning up the, the speed button. But obviously you guys are going to need to take this through a bunch of tempos again. So I urge you to start really slowly, start at 60 beats per minute and start just gradually slowing, speeding this up. You may have to do it over a few days, a few weeks to get those tempos. But once you know the mechanics of how this works, and it's crucially mechanics, that you can start speeding it up. And that's the really important thing. It's not like some crazy tempo that only kind of freaks can get hold of. It is something that all of us can do if we know the mechanics to begin with. So it's a great tune once you get it down. You can start moving through a few different chord sequences. I'm not going to show you that now, but I'm going to show you the idea. It goes from a C to an E flat, then up to an F and a G. It goes through a few different sort of key centers in the song. But you can see what a powerful technique uh, exercise this is. So let's try again. One, two, Take up to E flat. And G. So there you go. So if you're looking to really get some supercharge your technique, getting this down, this I feel love, it's an amazing technique exercise to really supercharge your finger speed. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this lesson, please do leave a comment below. Please also click the link below to download the PDF which goes with this lesson, which has everything written out for you to take, take apart. So again, leave a comment. Please do give it a like and share on social. I've been James from ebassguitar.com and I'll see you next time. Cheers for now.